Hi, my name is Alessandro Cangelosi from CG Cookie, and I'm really proud to present to you a new tutorial for Citizen on Max Cookie. Um, this is the new tutorial. Uh, it is called Growing Filaments on a Creator, and it is really useful to see how to create filaments growing or maybe organic structure over a given mesh or on a creature. The creature can be animated or static. We'll use the static version to speed up the process for the uh, setup creation. That's the final render I just prepared and we can see together the final result. Uh, as you see, uh, it is not so precise because I just used the uh, sphere created over the growing filaments to speed up the rendering and the setup, but we can use also some uh, software as Frost or the internal uh, MetaMesh from 3ds Max to create a really nice structure. But as you can see, we have a really complex filament structure all over the creature uh, that is um, growing and we have sub filaments created over the main filaments and everything will be done using particle flow. So you see that the result is really nice and really interesting. That's our scene. And the setup is really simple. I use it again, the um, Abix uh, uh, creator uh, created by Pepeland, Daniel Martinez Lara. And that's our uh, setup done with particle flow. And you see that we have not so much events and node but we'll control how to create the various filaments uh, using just uh, some fine target and for example the speed by surface, the lock and bond, uh, the round down walk, so the spawning. So we'll use some events we used it before on more tutorial on 3ds Max for Max Cookie and we'll see how to put together everything to create something different. So. Uh, we'll see how to create structure and mesh just using particles and that's uh, really nice because it's a nice introduction to a different way to use particle flow. Uh, we'll take a look also uh, at speed up the workflow using for example the cache disk operator and we'll work with the, with the material to create a nice looking uh, inside the rendering uh, just to see the uh, uh, so tap inside the viewport, we can use a really low amount of particles. You see that everything is controlled by the bird. So we can decide how, ma uh, how much main um, filaments we have over the creature. So I have just to write, for example, four, and we'll have main uh, filaments created over the creature. Obviously, actually, the, the area where we have the filaments can be a different point, so we can see how it looks from another camera. But you see that the result is really nice, and we can see from the other point of view, and you see that we have desk filaments working mainly from there, and we have the possibility to decide to have the filaments growing directly over the mesh, or we can decide to have the filaments growing from the bottom, so uh, the filaments will grow starting on the ground and then will move through the creature on the upper area. So uh, it will be really nice and really simple to see how it looks and just to speed up a little bit the workflow, I can remove a little bit of particles during the growing process so we can see together how it looks. So you see that it is faster to move. You see that we have the particles starting automatically in some area and then growing. Or as I said you, we can change the setup and have the particles starting from the ground. So we'll see how to work on those particles to obtain this final result. And uh, uh, you can use this kind of tutorial and setup to create really uh, more different to, um, uh, effects over creature or something different like uh, this process we are creating together. So let's start see how we can do it in this tutorial. So uh, if you like it, please follow us.